Hi, I'm Dr. Struby. I'm a chiropractic physician in Pinellas Park, Florida. I want to talk for a moment about the anatomy of the low back and potential low back problems. The low back is composed of five separate vertebrae. The low back is referred to as your lumbar spine. And in between each of the vertebrae is a disc. And the disc serves a couple different functions. It acts as a spacer. It also acts as a cushion in between the vertebrae. You can develop disc problems where the disc has bulged or herniated and that can predispose you to some problems. Also, these small joints in the back of the spine, all the way up and down the spine on either side, those potentially can become irritated and inflamed, and they are also a source of discomfort in the low back. You have your spinal cord, which starts up at the brain and then runs down inside the spinal column all the way down to the bottom. The spinal cord is essentially a bunch of nerves traveling together, but at each level some of those nerves branch off. In the low back, they come through these openings, they swing across the pelvis and down into the leg. If you have something irritating the nerve at this level, that can affect down into the leg because that's where that nerve ends up going. That is what's commonly referred to as sciatica. Low back problems can be caused by any number of different things. If it is caused by trauma, a frequent cause of trauma is automobile accidents. And if you're involved in an automobile accident, the most likely thing to be injured is the neck. The second most likely thing to be injured is the low back. And it's because those are areas of greater movement. Consequently, that puts them at greater risk if they are in a forceful traumatic situation. So if you're having trouble with your low back, especially if you've had a traumatic event recently, you should get yourself evaluated and if needs be treated. And I think you'll be glad you did. I want to thank you for your time and I'd like you to have a good day.